Well done. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> it's a big day for Ashley Westmacott and her family. And along with thousands of other graduates, she's excited about the future. But for Ashley, that future now includes living with big student loans. I have no idea how much I'll end up paying back for my undergraduate degree. It's not worth thinking about. It would be the price of a small house. I think it's disgusting, actually. She says students typically now have to take loans running to tens of thousands of pounds. Yet invariably they don't understand how the system works or how much they might one day be asked to pay back. I think they should have made it more aware that the terms of my loan might have changed the amount of interest and it's all very cloak and daggers it's hidden the information and it's hard to find out the student loan company and department for education say not only are all terms and conditions clearly set out to students they have to sign a declaration confirming they have read and understood them but those like emily hopkins from bedhampton in hampshire question if teenagers with no financial expertise can possibly know what they're taking on Two years after graduating, her debt is now at nearly £42,000. Around £5,000 of that is in interest charges. I think it would be unfair to say that we weren't given enough information, but that at 18 years old, I'm not really sure you really fully understand the connotations of it, that, you know, this is going to affect the rest of your life. Rules on student loans mean the repayments are linked to income. The constantly repeated message is that under the current regime, those earning less than £21,000 pay nothing. Yet the decisions young people are having to make now will have to last for the next 30 years, covering all sorts of variation in their incomes and changes in the wider economy. So I've got some questions about student loans here that I'd like you to try and answer. They're multiple choice. When we showed these sixth form students from Peter Simmons College in Winchester just how much interest will be added to their borrowing while they're still studying, they were amazed. So much money. I think it's a lot more than I feel like you're led to believe in a way. You're already borrowing an awful lot of money and I, I just think that's really, really high. The Department for Education says student loans work very differently from a mortgage or credit card debt, with repayments that depend on the borrower's income and not the amount borrowed. They say loans are written off after 30 years. But critics say we haven't even begun to feel the true impact of a rising tide of student debt created by £9,000-plus fees and living cost loans. They believe it's an unsustainable ticking time bomb for those like Ashley and Emily, an urgent reform of the system is needed.